Football season's finally here. The Austin area gets football underway tonight with the Taco Shack Bowl. Anderson McCallum at House Park. Rick and I will be there. I'm sure a lot of eyes will be on that field as the games get going. Uh, just a lot of excitement as the season's ready to finally get going after a long off season. Rick, like I said, you're going to be at House Park tonight. What are you looking forward to seeing in that game? I'm looking for a good game, partly because the the bands are great. They're, they're going to fill that place up. House Park's not very big, of course. I just think McCallum has a better team overall. You might disagree, but I, they've got a player by the name of Willie Mays. How can you go wrong with a player like that? You can't Mays? bet against Willie Mays. Willie Mays. I mean, Ellie, he plays offense, defense, <laughs> kickoff, special teams. He does everything. I picked them by a touchdown. Danny? Well, uh, I've been drinking out of my McCallum water bottle all week, but I'm going to go with Anderson. Um, you know, even when Anderson's bad, which they weren't good last year, 1-9, this game is always close. It was 16-7 last year. McCallum's going to be breaking in a lot of new people on offense. Um, Anderson's going to have a returning starter at the quarterback position in Kirby Hill. Chris Ortiz, who got a lot of playing time last year at the running back position, is going to be back. I just think it's going to be a close game again. I say Anderson pulls it off. Now looking one day into the future, tomorrow the rest of the uh, Syntex teams get underway. And, and the game you have to start with is the marquee game of the weekend in this area. That's Westlake, Cedar Park, two teams that could contend for state championships this year. Guys, how do you see this one shaking out? I'm going to go with Westlake. See, um, these two teams are almost mirror images of each other. Both have good offensive lines. Westlake, they have Jordan Seifert. This is going to be Patrick Elliott's debut as his number one wide receiver, so it'll be fun to see what he does. And their defense is good. I don't think this is going to be a shootout. I don't think it's going to be a 41-40 game. I think it's going to be low scoring. Westlake won last year 21-7. to Still worked out for Cedar Park. I think it's going to be the same, about the same score this year. Except I'm picking Cedar Park to win the opener this year. <laughs> I like the fact that they won state last year. They, they've got all that momentum. They've got that confidence. They've got Nate Grimm, who you think could be an MVP candidate. Very much good. And uh, they average 276 pounds across the offensive line. They've always had a good offensive line. This might be the biggest one they've ever had. Another game that maybe not won't get as much attention, but still could be a very good game. That's Hyde Park Baptist Reagan Friday night again. Uh, how do you see this game going? I'm picking Reagan. I like the way Keith Carey's got this team, I think, believing more in itself. I thought they were one of the most improved teams from last year. I just think uh, they've got talent. DeAndre Lott, remember that name, running back, small, about right there on Danny. It has been impressive what Coach Carey's been able to accomplish there um, on the side of Austin. And I think the Raiders are going to be talking about you know, possibly contending for a playoff spot. Um, the season, but I, I'm going to go with Hyde Park Baptist. It's not a bad tap school. Over the past three years, uh, five and one against Austin ISD schools, um, three straight wins over Reagan in each of the past three years. I see. I think that uh, trend continues, and you know, like I said, if Reagan loses. I don't think they need to be you know, too sad about that. I think they're going to be contending for a playoff spot this fall, and I think I think the tap school is going to win this one. And the final game on our slate of uh, all Syntex games that'll be tomorrow night is Rouse versus Hendrickson at Hawk Stadium. Uh, it should be another good game. Great running back up at Hendrickson. Rouse got a, a pretty good team, it looks like, this year. What should we expect tomorrow night in that one? I think it's going to be a fun game. That's the game I get to cover, so I'm happy I get to be out there. <laughs> um, Billy Ray McCurry is a Rouse uh, quarterback. He was a fine running back last year, ran for over 1,700 yards. They're going to need a big game from him, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get it against that Hendrickson defense. Um, defense is a little bit, no one ever talks about the defense at Hendrickson, but last year they actually allowed only two. 100 yard rushers. Um, Billy Billy Ray did get 80 yards on 10 carries against him, so maybe if he got a couple more, he would, a have, bad day. he would have made it three. <laughs> but um, I, I think that defense, six returning starters, uh, a pretty good secondary. I think they're going to be able to limit the damage on Rouse and let the Hendrickson offense score enough points. But, you know, I picked Hendrickson last year. Rouse won 50 to 23, so don't, don't take my word on anything. Xavier Conley. You said who? Quarterback, I think he's going to be the difference for Hendrickson. We talk about the great running backs. We talk about Billy Ray. I just think that he, with his experience throwing for 1,000 yards last year, they're playing at home. I've already said I think Hendrickson is going to go three, four, maybe even five rounds deep into the playoff this year. An outside chance maybe to win it all. I think they're the class of 16-5A. I'm going with them. They're at home too, so uh, that makes a little bit of a difference. We'll be back next week to recap all the games around the area, to give out game balls, and to start looking ahead to the weeks to come as we are just now getting underway high school football in Texas. Boys, it's, it's time to get going. I'm excited. I know you guys are. We'll see you around on statesman.com and mystatesman.com.